I'm told we do have Council Member Odette Ramos, who represents this district, on the line. Council Member Ramos, yes. can you hear us? Yes, yes. How are you? I'm fine. You're talking with Deborah and Andre. What Hi. can you share with us uh, that you know about this situation, and what is your sense of when we may be getting this official first news conference from authorities telling us a little bit more about what is happening there? Uh, well, first first of all, I just want to say I'm uh, hopeful that the uh, people who were victims this evening are going to be okay. We understand that they will be, but this is extremely tra traumatic for them as well as for the entire Morgan campus, as well as for our entire city. Um, I uh, have been uh, in touch with officials. Uh, we don't have a time frame yet for um, the media uh, yet. Uh, it is still a very active situation. Um, and so we're, uh, you know, holding on. Um, I'm obviously my uh, constituents are very concerned um, and they, you know, they should be, uh, but we've got, you know, a lot of, a lot of partners out there, you know, working on, on this. So, um, hopefully we'll have a resolution soon. We're certainly hoping for a resolution soon. Councilwoman Ramos have authorities told you anything about a suspect whereabouts, a cause for this shooting situation. We don't have, or I should say, I don't have that information. Um, they have said that they are um uh they have a, a potential suspect but we don't know if that's the case yet uh they're just trying to um try to get as much information as possible and um go go from there so we we uh, unfortunately i i don't have much more than uh i think you all do and i'm i'm also waiting on results understood and, and other news yeah is it your understanding that the shooter is a student uh, I do not know that. Um, so that is not something that um, I have been told. Okay. And is it a, your understanding that this suspect is still on campus or has left the campus? Uh, I also have not been told that. My understanding is that they are uh, looking for someone on campus. Um, and uh, that, that's all that I know. We don't know whether, um, I don't know whether there's another person that they're looking for or whether, you know, there's, there's anything else. But, um, you know, all of the resources right now are concentrating on uh, the campus right now. Okay. Walk us through the events as you understand they unfolded tonight at Morgan. Uh, so my understanding was um, at the Thurgood Marshall Apartments, there was um, a shooting and lots of panic. Uh, the um, Morgan immediately locked down the campus uh, so that there can be, uh, you know, a, a you know, shelter in place order so that everybody can stay safe. Um, authorities were there immediately. This is, you know, right next to Northern District Police, Northeast District Police. So there were authorities there right away um, to start to conduct the investigation. Um, ATF and other federal and state partners have been there um, as well. Uh, so I had um, heard on various news uh, about uh, shooting from a window. We don't know whether that was the actual shooting or whether that was something afterwards. Uh, we're, you know, there's, there's a lot of moving parts here and the police just want to you know, provide us with the best information and so are trying to figure it all out um, prior to us getting uh, more details. Um, right. At first, I thought, at first I had heard six victims. Now I'm hearing four. Um, we uh, obviously were told to get information out about, you know, parents, you know, coming to find out more information, but not on the campus. Uh, and so, you know, as I'm getting information, I'm, I'm uh, trying to be uh, able to pass along as much as I can. Um, earlier, you passed along to us that you believe that the students who were shot in this incident are all going to be okay. Can you tell us a little bit more about that, the nature of their um, injuries all I've or been how told they're doing? Is that, yeah, all I've been told is that they're non-life-threatening uh, um, injuries. I don't know where they've been taken uh, or anything like that. Okay. Uh, you also said at the beginning of this conversation, and, and thank you for taking your time with us, if you mm -hmm. need to go at any point, please let us let us know and, and we will let you go. 
if you need to take a call from a constituent or an authority, please let us know. But you, you mm -hmm. talked about at the beginning how extremely traumatic this is for not only for the campus, but for the city. And mm -hmm. I, I, I want to touch on that if we can. This has been a very difficult time in our area for a number of weeks. We have gone from traumatic event to traumatic event, and, and you mm -hmm. have been there um, watching it all unfold. Your thoughts tonight as we now go into this other chapter of this trauma. Yeah, you're, you're exactly right. Uh, the city has um, been through, and different neighborhoods have been through some very horrific um, situations, and uh, there have been um, really uh, just horrible events leading to, to death as well. Um, there's uh, a lot of um, people that are hurting not only from these events, but, um, you know, the, the situation that may have led up to the event. Um, it is it is a troubling time. Uh, and so, you know, I'm just interested to try to get more information to understand um, what is what is happening here. And uh, and I know that that is uh, part of the frustration is a lack of information. But I know that the BPD want to, wants to get us the right information before saying anything. Um, but yes, my um, thoughts and prayers are with you know, Pablo Lepre and also with, um, you know, the family at 800 Edmondson and, uh, of course, the families in Brooklyn. I'm on the Public Safety Committee, so we have heard every single detail um, and tried to look at every single angle. Um, in this case at Morgan, um, you know, we, we don't know all the details yet, um, but I know that we will go through it. And, um, you know, I People should uh, reach out to, to me if they need anything. Uh, certainly reach out to uh, anyone that can help with um, mental health. I know that um, the Mayor's Office of Neighborhood Safety and Engagement will be engaged, uh, as well as Morgan Campus. Um, you know, I, I still believe in Baltimore. I'm very optimistic. Uh, this has just been a, a terrible set of, um, of events. Speaking of pass along, passing along information and um, sentiments um, from constituents to you and what you and other city leaders are going to do. We earlier tonight talked to two students who were at a celebration tonight, the mm -hmm. coronation ceremony for Mr. and Mrs. Morgan. They mm -hmm. both said that as a result of this, they're fine and they understand that the four students who were shot are going to be okay, but they are concerned. They said they're, they're frightened to go to any other homecoming events, to walk around on yeah. campus at night. What would you have to say to those two young ladies that we spoke to tonight? about their concerns and their fear? Um, those are very valid concerns, uh, no question about it. And they uh, have every right to think that, especially since we do not have a lot of information right now. Um, it, uh, you know, homecoming is this weekend at Morgan. It is a very important time for alumni uh, to come home, basically, and for students to, um, you know, celebrate the school. And so uh, there will be a lot of second guessing whether it makes sense to come in or not. And, you know, some people will make that decision once we get more information. Um, but uh, yeah, this is, um, this is not, this is just not good all the way around. And so I, I understand their fears. And I do have constituents who live nearby that are wondering, you know, what, what's going on? When, you know, should they shelter in place? Um, what uh, can be what can be done and how they can help and uh, hopefully we'll get more information uh, very soon. You talk about you believe in Baltimore. We do. A lot of people who live and work in the city believe in the city of Baltimore, but there are real concerns, not just there in and around Morgan State University, but you just laid out several incidents in the past few weeks and months that we've covered here um, that involve violence and crime leading to trauma and fear. What would you say, what do you have to say to the people who live in Baltimore City, the people who work in Baltimore City, the people who want to come in to the city to cheer on the Orioles? Um, what do you have to say to them to allay the real fear that they have about crime in the city? Yeah, uh, well, um these events have been, uh, you know, pretty horrific and just like any homicide and any shooting, right? Um, and unfortunately, we have our fair share 
uh, and I would say to folks that we, we are working on it. Um, there are strategies that are working. Um, despite, you know, these incidents, um, the, the stats are, are down. That doesn't mean that they're, um, these incidents are, are um, you know, not worthy of, of being upset about. They, are, they very much are, as is every other uh, incident. We do have a lot of positive, amazing things happening here, and we are going to keep up that momentum um, and do the best we can to, um, you know, let people know that we are, we as a city um, are working on these issues. Um, again, we just don't know the situation with what is happening here um, at Morgan right now, and I don't even want to speculate at the moment what's happening. Um, so until we get more information, it's it's hard to, to say, uh, but I, you know, I will say that in, um, this, is, this definitely has been a tough last couple of weeks, but we uh, are taking the time and the effort to really make a lot of um, decisions about what needs to be done in our in our city. And again, we've got some great things happening. We just had a meeting this morning about the Baltimore Book Festival in Waverly. We have, um, you know, a lot of uh, great things that are that are happening here. And Baltimore is just like any other city. Uh, we do have uh, things that we need to work on. Councilmember Ramos, thank you so much. Uh, we appreciate you joining us. If you get any uh, additional information that you think we should know, please please circle back with us as we wait some uh, some more official information from Baltimore Police as we uh, stand by for that press conference.